The former Auburn Auction Park is about to get a new look. Developers are sharing their vision for the new sports complex can be held there. Fox 55's Drew Fry is in the studio to tell us what we can expect throughout the next year. Drew. Yeah, Chris, more than 200 acres of land right off Interstate 69. That's what the Auburn Sports Group is working with this year. They plan to bring a diversity of sports to Auburn, including your standard basketball, football, and baseball, as well as some of the less commonly played, like futsal and one of my personal favorites, pickleball. I talked with developers as they walked around the facility with some of their family members for the first time today. A field of snow on the outside and large empty rooms inside. The former Auburn Auction Park doesn't look like much now, but Grant and Rod Sin have big plans. Look, you can imagine what this is going to be like. It's kind of surreal, I mean, to be able to show people and then to say, you know, come here in six months and see what the difference is. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to be very rewarding. What they're hoping to show off in six months? Six courts we're going to be having on this side. There's going to be an additional four courts located over here. 16 courts in total plus three football and soccer fields, eight baseball and softball diamonds, and more. Grant and I's goal is basically to bring some of the best events here with the top kids, to bring them from all over the country, to bring them here, and to really showcase their skills here at, at the complex. Auburn Mayor Michael Lay is completely on board. Even though not everyone in Auburn is interested in youth sports, he knows thousands of people from across the Midwest certainly are. Where are they going to eat? Where are they going to shop? Where are they going to visit? Where are they going to stay overnight? And so the... The economics of that, the impact of that, is going to be enormous. Lay recognizes some people may miss the auction park, but he says crowd sizes are shrinking, likely with a rise in online bidding. Instead, he says there are much better uses for the 230 acres of land. It's not like, you know, we're taking away from the community. I mean, we're actually enhancing it. You know, they had two events per year. This is going to be every weekend. Lay says he just discussed the sports park with the Indiana governor's office today. People are taking notice as growth in DeKalb County is growth for all of Northeast Indiana. When you see the 70 acres that are set aside for commercial development, I mean, it, it's going to be like a little bit of community just growing up on its own at that interchange. And the Sin family tells me that the basketball facility should be done by this July. They expect to host a grand opening for the entire complex around November. Their last step is approval from the city plan council, but the developers say they've already talked with some council members and they're optimistic about the project. Reporting live in studio, I'm Drew Fry, Fox 55 News.